Hello, my dear crafters! I'm sure that many of you, like me, have friends who either do crochet or knitting. So, I'm sure also that you have given some skeins of yarn to them as a gift. So today we're going to learn how to make a perfectly sized, personalizable <laughs> box where you can put your yarn. And this is the box we're going to make together today. Look at how beautiful this uh, ephemera are. And I'll have, I'll, I'll tell you everything that I use, all the papers and everything. So this is what it looks like. So you can put your yarn in here. You can add a little card and it's a beautiful box. Look at that. We're going to make this together today. And then you can personalize it. And I really recommend this ephemera here. I will see if I can find the link. It's, uh, I bought it on, um, it's Spellbinders. It's from one of their kits, but I'll have the link below because it's perfect. Look at that. It has yarn and everything related to that. So this is the box, box we're going to make for those of you who are, uh, you know, who give this as a gift to your friends. Now you're going to learn how to make a box, to put it inside. So yeah, let's move to the tutorial and I hope you have fun. First of all, let me show you what I use for this. I use this paper pad here by Recollections. I bought it at Michael's and it's called Rainbow Wave. So it's a new one, very colorful and just got some pages out of here. But I also used some of my leftovers from um, Spellbinders, they have one of their card kits. It's one of the old, not really old, a few months ago, but I still have a lot of leftovers. So happy. So it has a lot of, see, yarn related and sewing and crafting uh, items and a lot of ephemera. I still have a whole bunch left. So I use that and I also used one of, this is from the kit too. I will have, see, it has the yarn and some things that you can use like little buttons and scissors. So I have the link below because you can buy these separate in case you want uh, to use the same stuff. And I also have some leftovers from the paper, little paper pad that comes with it. So I have everything linked below for you. So we are going to start with, let's start with the base, okay? So the base, I'm using this paper here that's from that Recollections. And this is nine and a half by nine and a half, okay? And we are going to score at two, sorry about that, so two inches and seven and a half. So two and seven and a half. So we have two inches on both sides. We're going to turn and do the same thing. Two, seven and a half. So this is the base. The lid, we're going, I'm going to score it, but the lid is going to be, instead of two here, it's going to be one and a half, because I liked uh, when the base shows a little bit. The contrast is really nice. So we are going to just reinforce this, and we are going to do the same to the lid, okay? And then we're going to cut and, and make it. So for the lid, I chose this paper here. It's from the same paper pad. And it's going to be one and a half instead of two. But as you know, let me zoom in. You have seen me make uh, boxes before, but I don't know if you've seen previous videos, so I always repeat it. Every time you make the lid, if your lid, for example, the side here will be one and a half, you can't just score on one and a half because you need the lid to be a little bit wider, otherwise it will not, not close. So what you do is you're going to pull your paper to the right, just leave like one eighth of an inch here. So I'm just going to move and let me show you. It's just a little tiny space here that you're going to leave. It's not even one eighth of an inch, it's like one sixteenth of an inch, but you have to do that on all four sides, okay? And now I can do the one and a half. So I'm scoring at one and a half, and we're going to do the same thing on all four sides, okay? Again, I'm pu pulling it to the right and scoring at one and a half. So, because if your lid is the same uh, width, 
as your base. It's not gonna close. It has to be a little bit wider. So make sure not to put too much space here. If it's more than one sixteenth of an inch, it's gonna be too loose. So you have to be careful about that. So that's it. So let me just zoom out and we are going to construct the box, okay? There you go. So we are going to make sure to score. And the, so the base is two, two thick high. And the lid is one and a half because then we're going to see the base when we put the lid on. I like to, I just like to do that because of the contrast, okay? So I'm gonna move this out of the way. I'm gonna get my scissors. Okay, just so you know, uh, I had some problems with my camera, but what I did was just cut to the folding line here, to the scoring line, cut on two sides on these two sides here and then you turn and do the same okay so that's what you're gonna have left and to close your lid all we need to do is just this is going to be the lid so I am going before I do that I'm going to add this embellishment so I use a whole bunch I already made this so you wouldn't take too long I used a whole bunch of those embellishments so we have some yarn here measure the measuring tape cute as a button so that's one of the chipboard so I already did my decorating for the lid and that's what's gonna go here so before I close it I'm just going to glue this on top because it's easier if you do it now I'm sure you can hear my dog is drinking water very noisily <laughs> so there you go we are going to place it here seriously Pablo can you make more noise so there you go I'm just going to press it with my bone folder to make sure that it glues Especially the borders here. There you go. So that's the lid, and we're going to close it now. So very easy to do that. And we're going to reinforce because this paper, I like to reinforce this for two reasons. So you make sure that this is flush here. And then I usually use my bone folder just to press it down. Same thing here. And then we're going to reinforce. So for the two reasons are because I like, because this paper is not double-sided, I like to add some more colors to the inside of the box. You don't have to really. It depends on how thick your paper is. This one is thick enough, but I'm just going to do that because I do think it looks better when you reinforce and you use more colorful paper inside. It makes it's one of those details that makes a difference. So I'm going to just put glue on both here. So that's one. And that's two. I'm going to reinforce and we have our lid ready to go. I'm going to do the same thing with the base. So the way that I'm going to reinforce it, I already cut some strips of paper here. This is one and a half because that's how tall it is. And I'm just going to glue it like this. See? On the sides, on the four sides. And then I'm going to glue this to inside, okay? I'm going to do it off camera because it's going to take a while. But that's all you do, you, you just cut strips of paper and you glue it on the inside. So I'm gonna do that and I'll be back when I'm done. So now I have finished the lid, so look how cute that is. And look at the inside, doesn't it make a difference? And of course it makes it more sturdy too. So we have our lid ready. I love this detail here. And now we're going to do the base. The base is pretty much the same, we're going to cut here and here 
and then I'm going to accelerate okay so you don't have to see the whole thing but you get the idea so same thing now we're going to glue and I'm also going to reinforce I should maybe put this here first before we glue it yeah I'm gonna do that but you can do uh, the sides you have to do it afterwards because you're going to actually cover the flaps so don't do it before but the base you can do it now and it's good because you can actually position it perfectly there you go So always reinforce I, I always do unless you're doing something quick that you for example for craft fairs or something like that if you want to make ma like mass produce then you don't really need to do that but I usually do so again we're going to make sure this is flush here Okay, so again, I'm going to just reinforce the sides now because see, you can see the piece, see the flaps here. That's why I like to cover it too because I don't like that showing. So I'm just gonna do that off camera and I'll show you the results, okay? So I am back and I finished, see? See how beautiful, it, it just makes it sturdy and beautiful i don't like the inside white if you have a double-sided uh, paper that's better but if it isn't i always do this because i think it makes a huge difference doesn't it it is going to be a gift so there's the lid and now all we need to do is just position our beautiful yarn here like this and then you have your pretty little box and i'll show you what I meant by showing on the side see that's why I make this two and this always uh, like half an inch less or even a little bit more but I like the paper to show this paper is so beautiful and you want it to contrast as well so there you are we have a beautiful box so next time you give this to a friend a yarn some yarn you can always make your own box and they will love it add a little card here and they're going to love this gift so that's it for today thank you so much for being here with me and i will see you in my next video okay